Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. We are here once again to uh, go ahead and share God's word with you. And uh, I, I pray that uh, you are encouraged every week. And that's why you keep coming back, joining with me. And I'm praying that uh, you are sharing those words with uh, someone that you know can use the encouragement and and as I as I share uh, um, these words, it's important that you know that uh, you know what it, it's not about me or 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 my church or anything like that. It's it's about helping someone to strengthen their walk with the Lord. And 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 if that's you, I, I pray that you you will go ahead and share these words with someone and that's the important thing and whenever you find something good you don't keep it to yourself you go ahead and share it with the people you love the people you know um can use uh the, the same encouragement that you find in it amen uh and this morning i'd like you to open your bible with me in first corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. It reads like this. Don't you yourselves know that you are God's temple and that the Spirit of God lives in you? Don't you yourselves know that you are God's temple and that the Spirit of God lives in you? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. You are God's temple. Uh, our, verse, our verse this morning reminds us of a profound truth. As believers, we are the temple of God. In the Old Testament, God's presence dwelt in the physical temple. Only the high priest could enter the most sacred place, the Holy of Holies, to meet with God. But after Jesus' death and resurrection, everything changed. The veil in the temple was torn and the Spirit of God now dwells in every believer. We as children of God are now the dwelling place of His Spirit. This verse holds an extraordinary, an extraordinary, extraordinary truth. You are the dwelling place of God. Imagine that God's spirit, the very presence that brought creation into existence, lives in you. Often we might forget this or, or take it for granted, but the Apostle Paul is making a powerful statement to remind the Corinthian believers and us today that we are not ordinary. We are God's temple. In the context of this chapter, Paul was addressing division and immaturity among the Corinthians. He wanted them to realize that their actions weren't just affecting themselves, but the entire community of believers because God's spirit wasn't just present in the church as a whole. His spirit was within each individual Person. This, I would say, implies to us as well. As individual and collectively as the church, we are the temple where God's Spirit dwells. Now, what does it mean for you to be God's temple? To be God's temple is to be a place of holiness. The Old Testament temple was a sacred place. People came there to worship, pray, and meet with God. Now you are that sacred space. Being God's temple means living a life that honors Him. This doesn't mean perfection, but it does mean being set apart, walking in love, purity, and purpose. You are a home for the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God lives in you to guide, comfort, empower, and transform each believer. His presence gives you wisdom beyond human understanding and strength in your weaknesses. You are never alone because He abides in you. 
and it is a call to unity in a community of believers recognizing that each person is God's temple should bring unity not division it's person you meet carries the same spirit within them that is in you so treat them with love grace and respect we are all part of God's family his holy people God's presence, my friend, in us. This verse this morning highlights the, in, the, intimacy, the intimate connection we have with God. His spirit, the very presence that hovered over creation and raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. It's an incredible privilege, but also a serious responsibility. If we are God's temple, this means our lives should reflect his holiness. Just as the physical temple was kept sacred, we are called to live lives that honor God, that honor God, both in our actions, in our thoughts, Paul is addressing division in the Corinthian church in this chapter by reminding them that they are God's temple. He underscores that the same spirit who lives in one believer also lives in others. This should lead to unity and mutual respect, not division and strife. My friends, Let's apply this to our to our daily walk, and and one one of the ways to do that is to guard our heart, recognize that the Holy Spirit resides within us. Are are, are, are there? A, a, my question to you this this morning is: Are there areas of your life that need to be realigned to reflect that truth? Ask the Spirit to guide and convict you where necessary. See, the, the, the value, value, you need to value the presence of God, not only in yourself, but also in others. This means treating your fellow believers with love and respect, understanding that they too are a dwelling place of God. Let the reality of God's spirit in you influence your daily life, your choices, and your interactions. When faced with challenges, remember you carry the strength and wisdom of the Holy Spirit inside of you. Today, my friends, as we reflect on this passage, let's remember that being God's temple is both a privilege and a responsibility. The, his spirit dwells in you, empowering you to live a life that honors him. Just like the lighthouse, you are meant to shine his light to the world. And as part of the body of Christ, you are called to unity and love with fellow believers. Uh, as you go about your week, I ask yourself, how am I treating the temple of God in my life? Am I allowing his spirit to move in every part of me? Or am I keeping him confined to just a portion of my life? Let, let's be a, a, a people who honors God's presence within us and live lives that reflect his holiness, his power, and his love throughout the world. We, we, need to, we need to live with the awareness that, that we are God's temple. This truth calls, calls me and you to a higher standard of holiness and purpose, but also reminds us of the immense power and grace living within us. So this, 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 this week, my friend, you need to take time to honor God's presence in your life. Let, let his spirit guide in your, your, your every decision, your, your relationship, and your daily walk with him. Let's carry this truth forward, being temples of God's spirit in the, in, in the world, a, a, a light, a refuge, and a reminder of God's love to those around us. May this verse remind, remind you, remind me today that, that, that we are a, a sacred temple, cherished and filled with God's presence. So let, let us live in the fullness of that identity, my friends. Amen. Let us pray.
Heavenly Father, we come before you today, O oh God, with grateful hearts, acknowledging the profound truth of your word, O oh God. You have made us your temple and your spirit dwells within us, O oh God. What an incredible privilege it is to be the dwelling place of your holy presence, Lord. Help us today, O oh God, to live in a way that honors this sacred truth, O oh God. Guide us to walk in holiness and purity, O oh God, knowing we are not our own, but we belong to you. Cleanse our hearts and minds from anything that would dishonor your temple, O oh God. Fill us afresh with your spirit so that every part of our lives reflects your glory, O oh God. Give us the strength and wisdom to guard our hearts and our actions, to be mindful that we carry your presence everywhere we go, Lord God. Help us, Father, to shine your light in our relationships, our workplace, and our communities so that others may see you through us, Lord. We thank you for choosing to dwell within us. May we live each day with the awareness of your presence and the desire to honor you in all that we do, Father. We pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And amen praise the lord god bless you i am so happy that you're able to join me today i i pray that you you were encouraged and strengthened in your walk with the lord today and 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 i'm i'm encouraging you to share those words with somebody you know can can find something that will help them in their walk with with, with jesus May God be with you. May God bless you and keep you. May God watch over you. May his light shine upon you. May he give you peace today. I love you with the love of the Lord.